For these next couple of problems, we're going to use the percent equation, rate times total equals part. And the information we're given here in this first question, find 25% of 80, we're given a rate, 25%, we're given the total, 80. So what we're solving for is the part. So we're going to take these two pieces and substitute them into the equation. We get 25%, which is the decimal 0.25, of 80 equals our missing value, the part. 0.25 times 80 is 20, so 20 is our missing part. Okay, here we're given uh, the question express $90 as a percentage of 160. So we have the total 160 and we have the part 90. What we don't have in this case is the rate, the percentage. So we need to solve for rate. So we're going to put, uh, substitute these other two values in. We'll get the rate that we're solving for times the total, so 160, equals 90, the part. So to solve for r, we need to get rid of this 160. Since we're multiplying by 160 here, we'll do the opposite, which is division on both sides. 160 divided by 160 is 1, and 90 divided by 160 is 0.5625. So r equals 0.5625 as a decimal. As a percent, we'd move that decimal place over two points, 1, 2, and we get r equals 56 and a quarter percent. Example C here. The question is, $50 is 15% of what amount? So here we have the part, the $50, and we have the rate, 15%. What we don't have is the total. So we need to solve this one for total. So we'll substitute in our other two values. We have our rate, 15%. 15%, we'll go ahead and write that as a decimal, 0.15, times the total that we don't know will be equal to the part that we have, 50. So to solve for t, we need to get rid of this 15% here, and we have 15%, or 0.15, times t, so we're going to divide both sides by 0.15, divide by 0.15, these will cancel, of t equals 333.3333, 333.33 dollars and 33 cents.